Mike Powderly knew something was wrong when just sending an email became physically challenging. It was probably the first thing that I noticed as I look back that really made me say to myself, this is not normal. The classic shaking associated with Parkinson's disease is usually the first sign that most people have that something isn't right. And it was only my left hand that it happened to, which is the side that I have the Parkinson's on. Parkinson's disease is a very common neurological disorder. So how are you doing today, Kevin? But even though it's common, it actually affects patients in very different ways. The typical manifestations of Parkinson's disease include shaking, muscle rigidity, loss of coordination, a generalized slowing of movement. There are a whole range of other symptoms, symptoms like depression, bladder dysfunction, weakness, fatigue, apathy, that really affect a patient's sense of well-being and quality of life. Mike and his wife, Mary Ann, did their research to prepare for the challenges ahead. But a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease usually involves significant loss that may require an adjustment period. It was still a shock. I mean, it was, you know, it set me back and, and made me really think about, wow, I mean, this is, this is serious stuff. It was, it was very difficult to deal with. You know, we've been through a lot already. I'm a cancer survivor. We have a somewhat special need. So we sort of thought that those tough times were behind us. But how patients respond to the challenges inherent in dealing with Parkinson's disease can predict how successful they'll be in coping with this condition long term. It's important to observe when someone is experiencing the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, what impact it's having on their daily life and on their quality of life. The individual who starts out and says, I'm going to learn more about this problem, and is willing to do that, is taking an active role. And the very act of taking an active role in your life is in itself, I believe, therapeutic for somebody. Experts say informed, proactive patients who manage their symptoms with the appropriate treatment have the best chance to live well with Parkinson's disease. There are effective medications, as well as a variety of other treatments and therapies available. Mike manages his symptoms with medications, but is also considering brain surgery. Surgery can ease symptoms of Parkinson's disease for some patients, but it is not a cure. There have been refinements in neurosurgical techniques. Uh, there's now a procedure called deep brain stimulation in which an electrode is implanted into part of the brain, uh, and it has been a significant breakthrough for a selected group of patients. I want to emphasize that this procedure has dramatically improved the lives of some patients. It has adverse effects. It is not for everyone. It is really for a very select subgroup of patients. In the meantime, Mike and Mary Ann are enjoying their times together as a family, something they don't take for granted anymore. And I'm very grateful. I have a lot, lot to be grateful for. You know, this is, I'm, I'm been, by no means, you know, do I take this lightly. It's a very difficult thing to deal with. But I have a wonderful wife. We've been married for 21 years. I have three wonderful boys. Finding the right treatment for the symptoms of a chronic disorder like Parkinson's is only the first step. Being able to adjust to the changes in symptoms and the impact on daily activities are the keys to maintaining a healthy sense of well-being and a good quality of life.